I already have the schedule of the project in Primavera P6. And I also have the project cost from the bill of quantities. Now there's only one step I need to do to generate the S curve of the project. And that's by performing the cost loading of the project. Cost loading is a process of integrating the project cost to the activities. We have several ways to cost load the Primavera schedule. On this video, we will talk about the two ways of cost loading. The first one is by incorporating cost through resource assignment. For this to work, I am under the assumption that you already have the working schedule with defined calendars, activities with corresponding duration, and dependencies. Now we have to create a resource. Let's click this icon and click add. We can name this resource as cost. On the next page, select materials. On next page, set the price per unit to 1. After that, click finish. Now let's go back to activities. Let's select all structural activities. Let's right click. Then select Assign, Resources. Now choose the material resource we created earlier. After that, we refer to the BOQ for the cost of each activity. On the right, I have here the BOQ. For excavation, it costs 5000 So let's select the excavation activity in the schedule. In the details pane below, select resources look for a cost resource we assign then set the budgeted units to 5000 now for the footing we have the same scenario let's click the footing activity based on our BOK, we have 5000 cost so let's select the cost and set the budgeted unit to 5000 for the footing tie beam we have 7000 so we click the footing type in activity, select the cost, and set the budgeted units to 7,000. For the slab on grade, we have 10,000 cost on our BOQ. So we select the slab on grade, select the cost, and set the budgeted units to 10,000. For columns, we have 7,000. So let's select columns and set the budgeted units to 7,000. For the beams, we also have 7,000, so we select the beams. And then for the cost resource, let's set the budgeted units to 7,000. For the slab, we have 15,000, so let's select the activity and then set the cost or the budgeted units to 15,000. So that's basically how we incorporate costs on the activities by resource assignment. We assign material resource on these activities, set the price unit to 1, and then adjust the cost through the budgeted units. Now, another way to assign cost to each activity is through expenses. Let's try this for the rest of the activities. Select an activity. On the details pane below, select expenses. Click add. And we can name this as the activity name. Now for the budgeted cost, we refer to the BOQ. So for CHP legging, we have 15,000. So let's set the budgeted cost to 15,000. Now for the plastering, let's select the plastering activity. On the expense tab, let's click add. Let's rename this to plastering. Let's refer to the BOQ for the cost, which is 7,000. And we set the budgeted cost here at 7,000. Now for the floor finishes, let's select the floor finishes. Let's add an expense item. Floor finishes cost 15,000 from our POQ, so we set the budgeted cost to 15,000. Now for the window installation, let's select the activity. Let's click add. Let's type in window. And let's type it 20,000 from our POQ. 
Now for the ceiling works, let's select the ceiling works. Let's click add on the expense item. It costs 15,000 based on our BLQ. So let's type in 15,000 here. For door installation, let's select the door installation. Let's click add. Enter the name of the expense item. Then we type in 10,000 in the budgeted cost. Now for the painting works, we select the painting works. Add the expense item. Set the budgeted cost to 10,000. For the maps, first picks. So we select the first fix activity. Add an expense item. We type in first fix. For the budgeted cost, let's set this to 10,000 based on our BOQ. Now for the second fix, let's select the second fix. Click add. We rename the expense item. And we set the budgeted cost to, again, 10,000. Now for the final fix, let's select the final fix, add an expense item, type in the budgeted cost which is 10,000. Now for the last activity, that's testing, let's select the testing, click add, we rename the expense item, and we set the budgeted cost to 3,000. After we assign cost to each activity, we can now generate S-curve. Primavera automatically distributes the assigned cost throughout the duration of each activity. Let's click this icon. Now, it's going to show the budgeted labor units, the actual and the remaining. We have to change the settings since what we wanted to see is the cost or the cash flow of the project, not the labor units. Now, click this drop down. Select this option. On this window, select cost. On the right, select total. Here at show bars or curves, check the budgeted, both for by date and the cumulative. Then uncheck everything else. Now let's click OK. After that, you can now see the S curve of the project. If you want to transfer this to Excel, we have to look for the monetary values. To do that, click this command. By default, it shows here the remaining labor units. Let's right click here and then select this option. Remember that we assign cost to activities by using material resource and the expenses so we have to show this on the spreadsheet. Now click on the available options drop down then click find. Now search for budgeted material cost. Let's click enter. And we add this item as a column in our spreadsheet. Now let's find the budgeted expense cost. Again, click the available options and then find. Now search for budgeted expense cost. Now let's select this item and add it as a column on our spreadsheet. After that, remove the remaining units in the list. Now click OK. Now it will now show these numbers. Collapse the schedule in the project level by clicking this icon. This will enable us to see the cost of the whole project. Make sure to select this project, then right click. Then copy. Now go to Excel and paste it. Let's remove the unnecessary columns except for the spreadsheet field. Now this table will show the total budgeted material cost and the budgeted expense cost. To get the total cost of the project each period, let's get the sum of this cost. We can now copy the formula for the rest of the values. We can rename this to periodic cost. Now let's get the cumulative amount of each period. For the first period, 
it's equal to 5,000. For the second period, it is the sum of the previous cumulative amount, which is 5,000, and the value of the current period, which is that 2,500. We copy the formula for the rest of the period, and we get this result. After we tabulated the cost, we can grab this. Go to Insert, and select any of these chart commands. Now, let's right-click on the chart and select this option. Let's remove the budgeted expense cost and the budgeted material cost. Let's click OK. Now, let's make the cumulative align chart. Now, let's right-click the chart again and then select Change Chart Type. Now, look for the combo. For the cumulative, make sure the chart type is line and then we check the secondary axis. Now, click OK. And that's it. You have transferred the S-curve from Primavera P6 to Excel. We can now expand this chart. So we can see the values. As a summary, we need the following to generate the S-curve. Number one is the working schedule. And then number two is the cost from the BOQ. And we incorporate the cost to the activities by cost loading. We can cost load the project by resource assignment or by expenses. If you like this video, I'd like to hear from you in the comments. Check out my other videos in project planning, Excel tutorial, and Primavera tutorial. Now that you know how to perform cost loading in the schedule, you can now perform earned value analysis when you update them. If you want to learn more about the earned value analysis, you can watch this video.